Um, Mr. Dwight was from Iraq and he was about 60 years old and uh, he was a businessman doing a lot of uh, needing a lot of traveling all around this country. So when he was uh, diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, he started having severe stiffness of his limbs. He couldn't travel, he couldn't drive, he couldn't go to his business because he was feeling very tired and he had to take a lot of medicines to get back to his feet and move around. So this kind of curtailed his business and his active social life. So when we saw him in Bangalore, after about say five years of the illness into his illness or six years into his illness, we noticed that he had severe off periods, what is classically known as inability to get up, inability to walk in Parkinson's disease. So this is a very important sign that we always look for in patients with advanced Parkinson's disease. So once we saw him, we do a detailed evaluation before any patient is offered this new treatment, which is called the deep brain stimulation, which has become a standard of care in patients with advanced Parkinson's disease. So once we decided that we would offer him this treatment, we evaluated him and found him to be a very ideal candidate for this surgery called deep brain stimulation. What we do in this surgery is to insert two electrodes which give alter the circuitry within the brain and give continuous current stimulus. It's like a pacemaker which has been put in the heart. Similar to that, there's a pacemaker which is in the brain and which is connected to an electricity generating battery which is placed just below the collarbone. So once this patient had surgery, which was about three years ago now, he's been into surgery three years follow up and he's done extremely well. He's back to his work, he's able to bend, get down, do his regular activities, able to travel all around and he's extremely happy with the kind of results that he has achieved with this surgery. His medications have reduced significantly, he takes less than 50% of medicines that he was taking before surgery and he has no tremors, he never gets these off periods which I was talking about and he's on most of the day. So that kind of gives us a lot of satisfaction in terms of improving the quality of life of these patients, which is the main goal of any functional neurosurgery. Thank you.